Hello, everyone. And welcome to Tuesday. And actually, welcome to Tuesday, because we are filming this on Tuesday morning. Fun fact. Usually, we like to film ahead of time. It wasn't the night last night. It was we, so nice out. We sat on the deck. Yeah. We sorted some stuff. We sorted this stuff, yeah. actually, from the bins. I was just going to say, we went to the bins so we could show you this stuff today. Yes. So, I know... I know. That we said that we were going to do a top 10 bins finds ever video today. Sorry. We Next week. unfortunately Thursday. have been very, very busy these past two days. So we couldn't <laughs> put that list together and figure out kind of what we we're going to say about them yet. But that'll be on Thursday. So we're will. just switching Thursday and Tuesday. It's That's all okay. going to be okay. That's okay. That's yes. okay. And then regular What's on Saturday this Saturday? Not a problem. Yes. Super yes. Easy. Together. What's on Saturday together? It's going to be kind of tiny because this week's starting off a little slow. It hopefully. Is. Maybe it'll pick up. We never know. It's okay. We never know. We found some pretty good stuff. Yes, we did. To preface, if anybody wants anything, email, Instagram, as always, in the description. Best way, Instagram DMs. Please. Second best way, actually, best way, if it's listed on Posh, to put it in a bundle and be like, I'm from YouTube. Send me your best offer. We will try to get it. all this listed in the next couple of days. Yes. But don't hold me to that. But other best way is... Instagram because yes. my email I don't know if suddenly I'm subscribed to every single newsletter on the face of the earth but it has just been flooded it blows up and it really blows up oh my gosh things just drown in there like shipping notifications for things that I buy I'm just like has that ever shipped and then I like search it and I'm like oh it shipped like seven two days weeks ago, ago. Okay, yeah cool Anyways, we have really good stuff. This and is as, a fun one. As usual, we're gonna do like shoes and bags and like mm -hmm. miscellaneous first, and then we are going to jump into the clothing. I also have an idea brought up to me on Instagram that I just wanted to run by you guys quick and see if you were interested in. Someone was wondering if we could do a haul where like one of us shows things that we picked up for a consignment store, and one of us shows the things oh. we actually picked up to sell and kind of talk about like why this is going to a consignment store, why hmm. this is going to sell, what consignment store that's going to. Or maybe since we both consign, we just do a full haul from the bins that's all consignment. That'd be a good idea. And we say yeah. where it's going, why mm -hmm. we think it's going to sell there. Does that interest you guys? Let us Let know. Let us know. Because right now, we both have a trunk full of consignment stuff. We have stuff. so much stuff to take to the consignment store. Enough. <laughs> Enough jib jab and let's, let's get into the good stuff. But let's start with shoes and I will start off. So first off, you saw these in the thumbnail. I thought these were really, really cute. First off, they from, are really from far, cute. they're cute. And from close up, you notice that they have these little, like, studs along little here. Rivets. Which like is those. just, like, the cherry on top. So this is a brand called Bleaker and Bond. Ooh, hmm. I can kind of get that in there. Um, I have heard of it, and I've seen their clothes a few times. I know it's not, like, insanely expensive. Ugh. Yawn number one is happening. And I know I that they don't use super expensive. <laughs> And I know that they don't use, like, super expensive material. Like, I don't even think this is leather. But it's still a really nice pleather. But I think they're really popular. Because yeah. their boot comps are, like, $80. They're cute, though. They are really cute. And they're really and they cute. Seem really, this and inside seems really squishy. They've hardly like, it seems worn. really comfortable. And like I said, this is not, like, a cheap, like, no, faux leather. No, it's good vegan leather. Yeah, it's not, like, peeling. As we'll call it. Then we got a pair. Okay, this is going to be weird. This is deja vu. That's, like, flashback to when I literally just found these like one week ago oh, at yeah. the bins like a week back i found mm -hmm. these in a size 41 now i found these same things in a size 38 i wonder if like a boutique clothes and these are free people no but these are a little bit more warm yeah them. these are free people actually i mean free people fun fact free people shoes come looking like they've been worn they like have a little this, plastic sticker all over of it. this right here is probably from factory and then they actually have this part usually be dark. This, I can tell there's some dirt, mm -hmm. but like it starts off like dirt. It looks like this. But these are literally in super good these shape. These are so cute too. Last time I had them, they sold super quick. I think to one of you guys, I <gasps> believe. You guys love if when I find- you have a friend in a size 38. Yeah. Y'all can match. You guys love when we find like size 10 and 11 shoes. And so do we, because they sell super well. And a lot of you have that. And that's a hard size to find. So and we Jack love- Jack has a good pair of size 11 shoes coming, coming up. up. We love hooking coming you up. Coming up in a murder. I don't know the name of these. I call them like the sliced leather boot. I don't oh, know. Oh, I thought that was the actual name of them. Might be. That sounds like something <laughs> free people would do. Then, these are actually my size, but I'm not going to keep them. I want to so, keep them. if so you cool. are a male or have a husband or a boyfriend and you want to get them all birds, this is a pair of all birds. I have too many shoes and I also just have no interest in all birds myself. And <laughs> if you didn't hear, I just got a new pair of shoes recently. 
I found him a pair of Gucci sneakers in Vans. <laughs> but these <laughs> are a men's 12, and Allbirds, if you don't know about them, they're kind of one of those like sought after reseller brands. Like they're so fast. Teaks, Rothy's, Birdies, all birds are kind of in there. There's, in a, my there's a couple more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people look for these. These don't sell like as high as the ones I just listed, but they'll sell for like fifty if they're in good shape. If they're yeah. in worse shape, it's like thirty five or forty. 40 but bucks. people mm -hmm. do look for them. If you didn't know, it's because they're, they're washable. Nice. You can wash them. They're light. They're so nice. They're wool. And you can wash them. So that's why people like them. Yeah. I have two pairs, both in a women's size eight. I have a pink and a gray, but I had to wash them last night, so they're still drying. Yes, speaking of washing them. Then, this is a brand that I despise, but I only pick it up when it's like accessories, but they're cute, bags, though. or shoes. I've they never found like her bags. Anymore. I've never found her bags, but if I did, I'd totally pick have it up. I, ever I bet. Her bags? Does she make them? I'm sure she does. She probably Probably they're not just, many. They're just linen sacks. <laughs> literally, they're just they linen, just, they're just like linen free shopping, shopping totes. Literally. It's Arlene Fisher. Arlene Fisker. I am not a fan of selling her stuff. Nothing Hardly personal. Hardly ever been worn, though. I just have no luck with it. We know some people do. We know some people don't. A lot of people don't. Just saying. I will say, her leather is really high Oh, yeah. Leather. No, her shoes are really nice. Her stuff is really She does only have, like, three styles that she just keeps remaking. That's okay. But they're nice. They are really nice. And these are really cute. I could tell someone picked these up and put them back because they were sitting, like, together. <laughs> On the top of the bed. Like, someone was holding happens? them like this and, and just set them whoop. down so uh, that was like the first thing i found and i was like these are really okay. nice like there's like no toe wear no there really hardly isn't anywhere on the bottom no. either like, but i actually can sell her shoes the so. shoes for us still do pretty good which yes. is nice and these are a size nine and a half nine and one quarter last pair of shoes and best pair of shoes Drum roll, please. These are teaks. And if you don't know teaks, teaks are a mega, I've never, mega, mega bolo. I've still never found a pair, but I can't imagine this to be comfortable. If you are a teaks individual, are these really comfortable? If you don't know teaks, teaks to the reselling community is like gold to the California miners. And what year was that? Like back in like 1849. <laughs> yes, I think so. Is That's that literally right? okay, like when here. one of us strikes them, everyone goes woo. <laughs> Literally, everybody does la like the people in Wii Bowling. Yeehaw! And we when all you throw like... the ball back in Wii Bowling and everybody goes, whoa! <laughs> Same thing. So, fun fact, I don't think I shot him in a haul, but like a week ago, I found two pair of teaks in the bins. One, like the left shoe of both pair was in the first bin, and the right shoe of both pair was in the second bin. With these, I was at the third bin, and I found three... Single teaks. And one was red, one was burgundy, so I thought they were matched. Mrs. No, they Hill. weren't. And one was silver. So I hunted through every single shoe bin about 12 times. And guess who found them? Me. And Ryan uh, Not actually found them. Some Ryan. girly next to me in the shoe change when they were changed out the shoe bins, pulled all three of them out of the bottom recesses of her cart. Because if you find anything good, you bury it in the bottom of your cart. Bins number one. You act like a squirrel. Bins 101. Yeah, exactly. You like, you gotta hide your nut. Um, and she pulls all of them out and I was like, you're kidding me. So I was like, Jack, she has all three of your teaks. I'm happy with how it turned out. So she, yeah, she held up all three. I heard Ryan say, my fiance has the others of those. And, and I knew right said, away. where is she? And I said, really? <laughs> I knew right away that that was probably my teaks because that was the main thing I was looking for. Yeah. So she held up all three. She literally had all three. And we, she came over to me and she was like, I'm usually the person that just like gives away stuff when like I have one that someone else needs. And I was like, I'm the same way. I'm just too nice. So she was like, I don't really care what we do. What do you want to do? And I was like, well, I really like the silver ones. And she was like, well, I really like the burgundy. So we easy swapped those. And then I we were like, I don't know. So we just did a coin flip. Best way to decide she anything. She won the and I instantly was like, I don't care. She won. I found two pair of teaks last week. She said she another one this week. She said she'd never found teaks before. So I was like, now she gets two. Yeah, it's exactly. all good. Everybody and wins. I still get a pair instead of I thought I was going to end up having none. So that's fine. And you cannot Anyways, get mad at a coin flip. That's the easiest way to decide anything. Long story short, these are size eleven and they're silver. <laughs> I haven't looked up if that's like rare yet. I just thought they're really pretty. And my last like thing and shoes is this little Kate Spade crossbody. Cute. And it's just it's really clean on the outside. It still has a crossbody strap. 
A little bit of discoloration on the inside, but not bad. Like we always say, no one with our bins likes purses. There's one guy that got the purses, but he missed all the ones that I'm about to show you. <laughs> and he's like, okay, thanks, sir. Okay, so shoesies, first up for me, I need to wipe these down because they do have a little bit of like bin gunk on them, but it is this really cute pair of Zara boots. They are a size 38. Zabra. I don't know if these are leather. It doesn't say, but I think they're super cute. Yeah. But they have this little snakeskin patch on the back. Not leather, them. but Zara uses pretty decent leather. They're decent for Zara, which is good. Okay, so then- Shocking for Zara. I know these are expensive. I don't know how to pronounce them. And I don't know anything about them. Mahambas. Mahabis. Mahabis. These. I see them all the time. Nick NCA Resale, who knows everything about the obscure brands that I don't know anything about, was like, those are good. In that exact same inflection. And I these was like, is okay. good shoes. <laughs> so I found this pair, and then I found another pair, and a lighter I found gray. The other you pair, found the, you did I find the other match to me, thank you. Um, <laughs> and a lighter gray, and those are also being washed. So. You're gonna take credit for my teaks. I'm gonna take credit for your Mahabis. <laughs> my Mahabis. Um, they are both a size men's 42. So I don't. I don't know what you they some seem of you, comfortable some of you might be like wow ryan how'd you not know those are so amazing as we sit here like <laughs> what and some of you might be like ew which is kind of where i exactly right okay so these i was actually so excited to find it is a pair of pride converse and they That's have the little man. pride flag in the bottom the little pride thing here and they have going all the way around and these sell for big money the pride stuff is so hard to find because they stopped making them they make I don't them. think they made them last year, and they only make them during June, and they're like 125. These are like 100 bucks yeah. at the store. These are a women's six and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, men's four and a half, women's six and a half. Um, and they're so cute. I love them. They do have a little bit of like gray discoloration on the front, but you really can't tell. Usually, when these shoe brands like Adidas and stuff make pride shoes, they make very limited amounts and each year expensive and each year they change the design so it's yes, not like do. you can wait till next year to get this design like you gotta get it this year so yeah. like that makes them a lot harder to find one time i had a pair of superstars that looked like they were splattered oh, yeah. in like rainbow paint i sold Those them for like expensive. more than i bought them for and i live wore them like they were for two years they were beat yeah. they were beat up okay so this is a pair of asos booties these are a size eight in england <laughs> Which I think is a six. <laughs> I think it's a ten. These don't look. These look bigger. Oh. I think it's two sizes. We get a yawn and a choke. Today. Sorry, I choked. I just had a chocolate covered peanut and I choked on it. Um. So these are. Does it say U.S. size? It does not. I'll get back to you on that. But they are just this really cute yeah, faux leather. Yeah, black booty with this fun little gold thing on them, and they have a little bit of like dirt and dust on the back of the heel. But I will wipe that up. No problemo. And then my last pair of shoes, before we get into the things, is this pair of Allegrias. Allegria by PG Light. These do have a little bit of toe wear on the front, but I think because they're that, like, really fun, like, holographic, it doesn't really show. My mother loves and they're selling so fun. this brand. Some people really love selling this brand. Yes. I, I had a pair, and they sold for 50 bucks last time, and I got them at, like, regular Goodwill. And I've tried it twice and have had no luck. Um, they do have a little bit of wear, like, on the inside of the heel, but, like, that's it. These are a size 36. They're called the Deb 413. The Deb. The Deb. Perfect. Perfect. Not surprising at all. Okay, so moving into accessories, I got one really fun 80s vintage belt with this really chunky belt buckle. I think I skipped. I literally threw this back. <laughs> it's, the brand is called Carlisle. Because it's not leather. I know, but it's pretty, though. Is it? No, it's not leather. No, it's not. But either way, it's pretty. Okay, and then accessories. I found this Coach Willis crossbody. She is unfortunately missing the crossbody, but I know we have some Coach crossbodies in our storage unit, so I will have to root through what we have and see what I can find. I just bought that exact same thing for me. Yes, she did. Okay, so this was adorable, which I also think this is weird because the purse guy that was ahead of me at the shoe change out, like, just missed this one, the Coach, and this other one I'm about to show you. Um, it's this really cute little vintage Dooney and Burke little, but I've never seen one with this kind a, like front thing before it's so cute and it has a little card slot thing inside of it and the inside is actually really nice and it has this little zip pocket back here and the removable cross body which is nice okay so this is my last bag it is an anthropology bag from jasper and jira i just showed you guys this yeah. in like the last bins haul that blue beaded pouch that he found and i was like that name sounds really familiar and um, then ryan shows me up and finds like a way prettier nicer one look at this it's 100 percent black suede black leather handles and all this really pretty metallic embroidery on it it's so pretty 
It has a ton of space inside. Oh, here's the. Oh, oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's and there's so a napkin. Nice. Great. Um, I have not cleaned this so out yet. Leather. So it's here's so the nice. label. Jasper and Jira. Here we go. And this one does have the 66170 RN. I don't know if yours did. Mine didn't have like many tags. It didn't have it didn't have a tag in it. So let's jump into clothing. The clothes. First up, I found a free people bin. A little free people. So this is a really oh, pretty you I love this. This retailed at 168, which is crazy for like a I can't see top. it. Because this is probably all hand hand beaded. Yeah, but hand sequined. It's, super intense like beading this is a size extra small so when is another not a size extra small another free people this one's actually a large oh good this is a we the free Love and i free. think this is so cute i it's love these sleeves big Those wide sleeves also like boxy necklines are really popular right now so i was Swear pumped it. about that <laughs> I got all the different Free People labels. This is Free People Movement, and I thought that this was a vintage one because this is not what the Free People Movement tag like usually looks like. It looks like. like the Free People New Romantic suit. But it's techno linen. Take that, Eileen Fisher. Techno oh, linen. It's really soft though. But what I love, it's like the little details for me. The little Free People Movement logo is like colored and embroidered. It's pretty. It's so instead cute. of just like that instead silver. Instead of just printed on. Mm -hmm. But yeah. This is actually this. a much it's really cute. It's actually a much newer piece. I just for some reason thought it was vintage. And then this is a really, really cute free people. Also extra small. Oh, I'm obsessed. And with I think it. this is adorable. It's got like this sweater little, kind like, of like varsity shoulders. It's almost got like a pleat in the sleeve. Yeah, it does almost have like a puff sleeve effect. But it's so cute though. With extra those little sweater cuts. Small. Love them. So a couple more things. I think I have a couple more than Ryan. So I'll just show a few I, more. Most of my clothing is going to the consignment store. We the Free, more free people, yeah, and a different We the Free label. I probably got every single free people label. Love these thermals. Size small, and like we say, we can't go there without one of us finding one A free of people thermal. A it happens thermal. every single time, yeah. literally. I prefer the London Town one, which is like the funnel neck. Then I'm going to try this brand only because I really like this top. It's a size medium, and it's mm. Billy Bong. Billy Bong. It's cute though. And it has the logo down the side, Billy Bong. <laughs> and it has this really cute, like, little, like, kind of witchy, kind of spooky. A little spiritually. Riders of the Sea graphic. So I'll try it. I'll literally list it for like 25 bucks and we'll see how it does. Yeah, it's cute though. Then every once in a while, I like doing vintage Ralph Lauren. This I thought was really cute. And this is a Lauren Ralph. Lauren Ralph Lauren, Lauren, Ralph label. Lauren. I do know it's pronounced Lauren. I don't but know somehow... why. I'm always. I think it's because my grandma. My grandma is the yeah. biggest Lauren Ralph Lauren lady ever. And my dad likes Ralph Lauren, and he says Lauren. And uh, same with my grandma, but she's also everyone like who's related to ninety. Yeah, maybe so. it's a Midwest thing. But I just can't. I've tried. I, if I, I force myself to, trying, I can. It's us trying to make something sound really expensive know. and fancy. Yeah, but trust <laughs> but me, I like, do it know it that it's. It's Lauren. Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Size medium, and it's like cottage cory. I'm obsessed I think with it's this. Really it's cute. so cute. A little button front blouse. Yeah, you kind of would have it open, or else it'd be a pretty slim fit, but it's got like a ruffly kind of there. It's got the pleats and the ruffles up at the front. And I love this, like, it looks like, like your grandma's tablecloth. Yeah, it looks like Joanne's curtains. Yeah. My grandma has curtains that look just like that. And then this shirt, <gasps> I believe, is like from Urban. I know they actually sometimes have like Gildan t-shirts. They have Gildan t-shirts. I'm pretty sure this is from Urban. When I researched, that's what I could find. But I think it's so cute. This is so cute. It's cropped and it says, be a nice human. I love that, with that little floral And on I it. could actually find some pictures online and those pictures also said Urban. So I cute. think it's from Urban, but either way it's cute. And it is a size medium, I believe. Small. This is small. Super cute. Okay, first thing for clothes. I got this newest tag for the friendly neck, Urban Outfitters dress. Um, this also retailed for $149. So Urban Outfitters, I don't know what you think you're doing, but it's so pretty. It's this floral, tiered, if I can have my lovely assistant help me hold up the other end of this dress, thank you. Tiered little like halter neckline dress. I can't get over this, what size is it? It is a size medium. And it's just the regular like Urban Outfitters brand. It's nobody fancy. But I cannot get over this. I love these flowers too, because they're like vibrant, but they're not like crazy. Honestly, for you know me, I mean? the like plain old Urban Outfitters tag makes the cutest stuff. That they do. In my opinion. Do. 
Speaking of Urban, Jack gave this to me because he knows Urban Outfitters. This is one of my favorite brands in the whole wide world to sell. This is Out From Under so If you guys didn't know that, Ryan large. appreciates selling Urban Outfitters. I love selling Urban Outfitters. This is Urban Outfitters Out From Under size large, and it does have these really fun, like, gathered little, like, they look like pilgrim sleeves. Like, who's the kid in, um... The Halloween movie with the cat and the witches and Bette Midler's in it. It's like the description of like every Halloween movie. It's Bette Midler. Oh, that kid. Uh, um, what is her name? I don't remember her name. But like the shirt that he wears, and he's like, "Come on, Sally!" And his him and his oh, sister oh, like the walking boy. to heaven. The this boy. looks like the shirt that the he wears. The one who becomes yeah. the cat. Yeah. Yeah. This is the shirt that he wears when him and his sister go to heaven. Yeah. Or go wherever they go. Yeah. Okay, so this Hocus is... Hocus Pocus is the movie. Hocus Pocus. I know I didn't say it, but Please I thought... Please don't I, come for I me. I'm sorry. I have not had any coffee this morning. <laughs> so this is a Zara... You couldn't think of Hocus Pocus. No, my goodness. I'm sorry. This is Zara women size small. And like, usually me and Zara have a love-hate relationship, but I will get it in the bins, and I will keep it and sell for myself if it's cute. And I thought this was super cute. Or else consignment stores love They Zara. love Zara. Just a nice little, like... I don't think this is gingham, but a nice little like checkered micro plaid, micro plaid little fit and flare dress. I think it's cute, and it does have these really nice little like sleeves. I think as like people start going back into offices, they're gonna want to get stuff like that. Yeah, I have a Zara in here too. So this is something that I usually don't sell myself. It is Express. It's a size large, but I could not get over this. I think it's so fun. It's this metallic top with these big old fun oh, like, like disco sleeves. sleeves. Yeah, they're super cute. They got these big old disco sleeves yeah. on them, and it does have like a little ruffled detail. Oh, that is cute. On the shoulder. I bet that this is like from the past couple years. Yeah, I think it is too. I just thought it was super cute. Okay, so Jack found this for me. Louvre book. And I love this. Lovely. The pictures inside are so pretty. I love it. Yes. I will put that in the classroom. And then my last thing for my first round is this OMG. You can hear the garbage truck. It's 100 billion degrees in here, so we had to open a window. It's hot. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is OMG size medium. And OMG, I typically only pick up in the bins because it sells pretty consistently for me, but it doesn't sell for a ton. And it's just this cheetah print, raw hem, little, like, button-down. Dress. I think it's a tunic. Oh. Okay. First up for me, you're gonna be like, what? It's a sleeve! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, imagine? this is actually, like, a leg warmer, and it's by Sweaty Betty. Betty Betty. A lot of the, like, athletic brands make leg warmers. I have one time found a... Lululemon leg warmer, and I actually only found one, just like with this. I only found this one. This is where your heel goes, by the way. And it's like a stirrup pant. When I found one, I was like, what am I gonna do with this? And it actually sold in like a couple hours. Yeah, it was weird. They're one size fits all, I don't know. But I don't know if people just have single ones at home and they're like, sure, I, I can do this match. Does one leg get a little colder than the other? Maybe. <laughs> and like, mm. I don't know. Then I found this super plush. I thought it was a blanket. Then I was like, oh no, it's just a huge Ugh. scarf. And then I thought it was one of those ones. What was the FabFitFun one? Oh, like it starts with an S. Or something like C that. Yeah. Something. I know what you're talking about. But no, it's actually a free people. I want this. Oh, so there's bad. the tag. It's so cute. It's one size fits all. And it's super like squishy and soft. I mean, unfortunately, winter's coming at some point. So. Don't remind me. We haven't even. It's mid May. I know. Yeah, in a while, but at some point. Then, this kind of surprised me no one grabbed it. Also, I have, like, a fuzz in my eye. Sorry. Um, People don't what like... What is it? People don't like scars I'm like, bins. I don't know why. I tried to figure out what to call it. I don't know. Guess Hi. what this is. What brand? It's Gucci. <laughs> so this is Coach. This looks like one that they have in the men's section, even though anyone can wear it. It's a scarf. And it's, like... Like new, Ooh, nice with the gold coach. label or that yeah. like little burgundy one. It's seventy percent wool, thirty percent silk. So this is like a bougie Ooh. coach scarf. I do not know why no one grabbed that. It's then why people don't grab the co the coach bags. Yeah, I don't know why. Made was a lot like Umji, where it's like I don't grab it in the store unless it's jeans. It's like super or shoes, cute, but I get it at the bins. This is a size medium, and I thought this was really I think cute. This is too good. With it feels this like, like linen embroidered. Little like eyelet. eyelet detail. We'll see. <gasps> then I forgot this bag in my bag section of this haul. I'm it obsessed says, with this. Lucky. And it's embroidered really pretty, hand embroidered all throughout. And on the other side, it says lovely. So it just depends on how you feel that day. Do you feel lovely? Do you feel lucky? This is literally the cutest thing I've ever I seen know. in the whole wide world. This, this is so is pretty. So I can't remember these colors. And it's like handmade with like. Probably like a food bag or food it sack. It looks like a grain bag. Yeah, mm -hmm. with like an inside pocket. A is functioning there a, inside Is there pocket. a brand in it? No. Huh. I think someone just made it. Because like, yeah, it's like a sack on the inside. Who 
makes this? This is talent. Look at these cute little fuzzies. So pretty. I can't get over I'm obsessed with these. I'm just gonna look at this. I can't get over these colors. I know, it's so pretty. And like, even the detail of like the yeah, whole it goes strap, on the strap. And then all the way down the side, yeah. Then... This is so well done. Uh, more winter things. I just cannot escape these things, but I still pick them up because once it is winter, they're gonna sell so good. Yes, they do. It's like finding Birkenstocks in the middle of winter. You're, You're not like, gonna not This isn't gonna them. sell now. Oh. But as soon... Yeah, I know. That's a studded one. This one's really cute. It's orange. Love your melon, by the way. Um, yeah, orange. I don't find orange very often. This one has a spot for a snap, and this one's got a little heart Should stone. I, should I Vanna White it? Hold on. They always go. Or like Vogue. Oh, you look like you're on QVC. Yeah, that's what they do. They go. Vanna White's not on QVC. No, she's on The Price Ew, is Right. They, like, but she, rub their hair. Yeah, no, they do the, like, they grace over the material. She goes, check the material. <laughs> they do one of these. It's kind of funny. Next, another brand, kind of like Madewell and MG. I would only get it in the bins, and I'll only sell it myself if it's cute or interesting. This is fun, though. So it's this, like, hoodie sweatshirt dress, and it's by Fabletics. And Love it's a Fabletics. size small. I personally really like Fabletics. Their leggings are really comfortable, it just and they doesn't, very well. It just, no. I was just gonna say, it just doesn't. Two, excuse me. Sneeze, yawn. Okay, choking. the pollen is in the air. Oh my gosh, you guys get everything today. <laughs> everything <for me. laughs> Sorry, it's polleny. Somebody's mowing outside. I feel like my eyes just got way puffy. Okay, I think it's your turn. Okay, so the next up Sickly. for me is a little. There's another little czar piece. This is a size medium, and I'm obsessed with this. I think this is gonna do well. I think this is one of those weird little czar pieces. And it's a new label. Yes, yes, almost definitely. Is. I will sell the new label myself. And I think this is very like summery cottage Corey. Like some girl that puts a little bit too much energy in her Instagram probably gonna summery, buy it. Summery cottage Corey. Summery whitey Corey. roughly. Yeah. Okay, so th then I found two sweaters that are like sweater sweaters. So this one is Angel of the North Anthropology. If I can find where the tag is, there it is. And this is the older label. And this one is a size small, but it's this really fun like mustard or like olive green. I can't really tell. Like circular hem little sweater. And I love that it has this like radial design in it. Like I think that's so pretty. And then it just I doesn't have it on the back. Oh, I, didn't, like a seashell. I didn't actually check. No. Oh, different design in the back. Pretty. <laughs> Ooh, ribbed. And then my other sweater is from Moth, which I feel like I haven't had a moth piece and I don't even know how long. Uh this one is again a size small. And it has this really pretty, like, it looks like a plant. Kind of on the front. Like a leaf? Yeah. yeah or like, like a feather. It looks like a little stem. And then it's just plain in the back. Or like a feather. Yeah, it has a little something nature on it. Okay, so this has no brand on it, but I was not going to leave it here because I think it's adorable. Um, so it is this green floral with these really amazing sleeves. And it's a wrap top. It's a really cool, like, short sleeve wrap top. I'm Can you handle this, showing this thing? This, is, these are hard. And I probably <laughs> should have tied this before we sit down to film this, but I absolutely did not. Um, but I love this, like, front design that it has. <laughs> okay, so I would say this is probably, like, mm, small, medium, large. It can fit a lot of sizes. Okay, and then I have two more little goodies. My last being something that was just left in the shoe bin, which I think is weird. A pair of Levi's, a little cut-off Daisy Dukes. These are a pair of 751s. Not that it matters. I'm no, sure. I have no idea how it matters. Um, and these do not have a size in them, so I will measure. These are ones get... that were made into... Construction. They were definitely made into shorts, 100%. And then my last little find is just a Target find, but I am absolutely oh obsessed gosh. with this. I think it's so cute. Wait, and these were literally just so at it's Target. Wild Fable, size medium, and it's a black little cropped V neck cardigan with these really pretty little pink little grandma flowers going down the sleeves. I just saw those there like a couple months ago. Like, I think this is adorable. And if yeah. not, sister's gonna take it, which she I feel should. like she probably is no matter what. But. Any hugey. Okay, I will wrap up mine. I don't have much left, like maybe up to 10 left. So here's my Zara find. It's Zara Woman, and it is a size extra small. It fits oversized. <laughs> this is it cute, It is though. this, like, houndstooth funnel neck I with the this. button detail right there. Fringe hem, nice, like, sweater little top. It's really cute. I feel like Janet would wear this. I think it's cute. Then, I don't always pick up this brand, but these are really cute style, and they're the new tag. It's American Eagle. This is the new label. If you're someone that does sell American Eagle, 
And they're size six. I don't pick up American Eagle when it's like a zero or double zero. Yeah, which I they don't, they I don't take even, they closet. don't even always take it. But this is the mom jean style. Mom jeans do good. Which these should do. do really well. And this neutral wash, people wear these to like, teenagers wear these to like work. Oh my gosh, yeah. They're so like, like a good pair of literally jeans. Literally every single teenager swear, and college students swears by American Eagle. I don't sell them. They are very comfortable. But like, ev if you pay attention, everybody wears American Eagle. I have many a female friend and they are very comfortable and very forgiving, <laughs> which is nice. So these, I actually picked up for the consignment store, but I'm gonna give them just a little shot because I think they're really out. cute. They really they're the cute. So Slimming Girlfriend Ankle in a size four and they're by Chico's. They're Chico. Chico Zero or a normal person four. Does Chico's do vanity sizing? I don't. Has? Chico's just has its own thing. But look at how I'm cute these with are. These, with these little pearl details yeah. on the bottom. The thing is like Pilcro. Yeah, they look like, I was gonna say, when you showed me. these, I thought they were Pilcro jeans. Pilcro like, has, wow. Express has, a lot of different like brands have made the same style. So like, I think they'll do good for people who just don't care what brand it is that they buy. I think they're cute too. And those Chico's ladies love their Chico's <laughs> things. Then I'm just gonna give this a shot. It gives me it gives me the vibes of something more expensive, like almost oh. Agua Bandita, Gal Meets Glam kind of. It 100% gives me like the Agua Bandita vibe. And it's cotton, mm -hmm. but it feels like a almost like linen-y, but it is 100% cotton. Oh yeah, and the back is like open. <clears throat> With that square neck though, that's really cute. Um, but it's called Indica, and it's a size U.S. medium. It's really cute though, with these but like pretty blue flowers. The comps look like okay. They kind of are all over the place, but I'm just gonna give it a shot. I just like, I love this stripe. It's I know, really I like pretty. that blue one. Then I'm gonna pop a photo up, hopefully if our editor, our chief editor, Jack, remembers, pop a picture up of this tapestry, because I found this Urban Outfitters tapestry there are a few spots on it, which I unfortunately cannot dig for right now because I don't want to deal with that. We'll do that in a minute. But trust me, there's just a few really small spots. It's not that big of a deal. But I think it's really pretty. It's I called like the her like her medallion tapestry or something. This is so cute. Don't pick up it's kids so very cute. often, but this is a 2T girls Ralph Lauren corduroy mini dress with the polo bear on it. It's so cute. It says Ralph Lauren it has a polo bear and she has a little purse. <gasps> she says she's like in mom. a little like school outfit and she's got a purse. Oh my, oh my god. god, this is adorable. Oh my god. I'm actually obsessed with this. It's so cute. Like she's so cute. I love it. She says I have my hand. She says mm, get in the car. What is <laughs> she says get in the car get in we're, going loser, shopping. we're going shopping. So get here, in loser, we're going thrifting. Here's my last thing. Let's end it on another winter item. But this is also a something good winter item. You would never skip. So this is a long quilted a North Face. It's yeah. one of those ones that goes down to like your thighs, <laughs> which is like what's so popular. Mm -hmm. North Face. Unfortunately, this is not down, but oh, that's totally fine. That's okay. These are so, so expensive in the store. Oh my gosh, yeah. But it is a women's size small. Also, this has, like, not been worn. I don't know. I, th ever. I think that's a Minnesota thing. People just get coats and just don't wear them. They probably get them as, like, gifts. And then they're like, bye. I mean, I guess, well, it's been worn maybe a couple times because the zipper has a, a little, little bit of tarnishing, but, zipper. like, this has not hardly much. been worn. I feel like you always find North Face coats and they have holes they and are rips. beat up. And they North Face does up. not offer any kind of repair services Patagonia that you can does. pay for or anything. So that's sad, but this one is totally fine. So yeah, that's all that we have for you today. So we are actually <laughs> headed to the bins now. Yay! We're going Yay. again. <laughs> actually, first we're going to consign all the stuff that we said is in our trunk. I'm going to get a piece of breakfast pizza. Then we're going to go to the bins. Yes, I'm going to get are. Starbucks because I'm... <laughs> I need something. If to I've looked glossy, it's because, like I said, it's a hundred thousand degrees. It's here. very hot in here, Not especially complaining. under these studio lights. Not complaining. I will warm. take the summer weather. Oh, 100%. and I will appreciate it. Not mad, but yeah. So that's all that we have for you guys. Let us know what your favorite item was of mine and of Ryan's. Please do. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> and we will see you guys on Thursday for the top ten bins finds ever. You never know. Something in this little haul could be in that video. I doubt it. But you never know. <laughs> Those ASOS boots, I'm like, I sold them for $8,000. <laughs> and then on Saturday for a together. What's, What's on Saturday? Saturday? And that's all that we have for you today. So, bye. Goodbye.